Well, let's go ahead and give this a test run of the item randomizer plus bingo combo. My goal, I think, should be to clear every bingo square to test everything, because this is a, a, a test run. So we need to defeat Scylla, kill Gravekeeper, five Guardians, and a Cthulhu, and complete uh, Pizza Tower. Got it. Beat Beezlebub, no transformations. Spike Breaker with Echo of Bats. Lion Scarecrow Tin Man. Silver Ring while wearing Spike Breaker. Five Cloaked Knights. Uh, one Fire Demon. Take damage from the Confession Booth. Kill at least one Frozen Half. Uh, have the Ghost Familiar kill a Ghost. Kill Richter. I have to save beforehand. Soul of Bat, Fire of Bat, Echo, and Force of Echo. Pick up Leapstone before Form of Mist. Have a Devil kill an Imp. Pick up Holy Symbol, defeat fake heroes, so I gotta do Trio. Collect all of Lad Relics, kill three Asgals, beat Doppelganger 40. Very familiar, use an item that isn't a healing item, and defeat creature using only spells. Okay, we can do all that. None of that's necessarily difficult. And now it's gonna come down to using your brain to route the video game. So that means we should keep our eyes open for like an elixir or a life apple or hammer. All of those are items the fairy can use. Uh, uncurse. Javelin. Good. No library card, which means we gotta get all of our stuff taken, which is fine. Already got the elixir, it can't be a healing item. Also, the fairy doesn't use the elixir uh, unless it's a higher level, if I remember correctly. It's been a while. TNT. Short sword. All right. Uh, I can kill. Yeah. Yeah, there's no doppelganger 10 without uh, Cuba Zoe, so let's pick that up. Yeah, none of these uh, look too difficult. Heart max up, unfortunate. Which is nice. Ooh, dark armor. I'll take that. That's going to make uh, Beezlebub without transformations a whole lot easier. Monster Vile 3, okay. Sub weapon. We don't have any sub weapon goals currently. So, I mean, first things first is we have to, I think, get leaps down, right? Oh, really? What the? F My spells. I was trying to do Tetris Spirit that whole time, and it just didn't work out. Ah, so, eh, whatever. I don't need it. Yeah, for now, I don't think there's much we can really prep. This is also, this is just kind of an end game board, right? Zircon. Okay. Bible. Gotta have a jizz hand bingo square. Well, as funny as that is, uh, no, we don't. <laughs> We actually don't have to. Hmm. 
We don't have a Spirit Orb one, so we can skip Spirit Orb. We do have to go to the confession booth at some point. Wait a moment. The five cloak knights we could actually get on our way to Leapstone. But I don't know if that's necessarily the correct play to do it that early. Like if I was in a race with somebody. Would I kill the five Cloak Knights immediately just to get that square? That's a good question. I don't know how many times I have to say that items are randomized, but people really are not, when they're suggesting bingo squares, which is something that is becoming more and more frustrating, uh, the items, the, the, the sub weapons count as well. They're also random. So anything that requires a specific sub weapon, I am trying to avoid, please. I'm trying to keep my, my blood pressure down right now. So please be understanding before you just say the dumbest thing that has ever been said in this chat room. Ugh. Sorry, I'm just, I'm just very frustrated how many times I had to explain about the item rando thing. And why forcing people to find randomized items is a bad thing. How many interval frames do you get when casting? It's a decent amount. It's not your fault, Rogue. It's 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 my fault. It's my fault for not expecting this to happen, to be honest. I don't know the exact number of frames you get, and I think it's different depending on which spell you use. But yeah. It's a decent amount. Ow. My ass is stoned as hell. Seer boots, don't need that. I am going to grab this warp now. Because I think we're going to grab Leapstone and then come back. Soul of Wolf. We then go grab Leapstone. And then the question is, do we kill the Cloaked Knights now or later? Fire the Cannon is a good one, maybe? Yeah, I could see that being decent. It looks like money. Can I grab it if I do? No, I cannot. Okay. As much as I want that cash, I'm going to have to get it later. We don't have the clock tower puzzle square, right? Dude, stop. Dude, I'm getting fucked. What the hell? Jesus Christ. Just 
be using this Bible. The Bible will keep me safe. Ow, I'm getting owned. I'm gonna die. Christ. I'm not doing the cloak tonight right now. Not when my health is 59. And I have like no damage right now. Do I seriously don't have anything else? I guess short sword. Should have put that dark armor on a while ago. Uh, there's already a square that is for telescope usage. Okay. I'm just gonna use the fucking elixir, man. Got here 15 minutes ago. No worries. Yeah, it was a little frustrating to get to this point, but I think the current set of goals is actually not that bad. This is, I think, one of the slowest goals, and we're getting it in under 12 minutes. That doesn't feel too bad. There's... Where's Leapstone? There we go. Might as well put it on, because I need to get lucky here. Burger. Dude, I could get... Ooh, that'd be huge, actually. If I got, um... Leapstone, and then I grabbed Power of Mist to get early flight? Nah, it doesn't matter, because you're basically going to get Soul of Bat right afterwards anyways. Unless you have to delay it for some reason. Yeah. So I think now I could go kill the the cloaked knights and honestly I could see a reason for doing it right now to get it done, but I think the longer you wait putting uh getting soul of bat the worse you are off. And that's something you have to keep in mind that you want to collect squares quickly, but you also want to be making progress towards getting soul of bat as soon as you can. Cuz after you get soul of bat, you can basically kind of do anything. Outside of stuff that requires second castle. We do have to get Spike Breaker. So I'll keep that in mind. Our weapons are really bad right now. My best weapon is my fists and a short sword. So... We gotta get the devil familiar. Let's get holy symbol. So there's a lot of stuff in caverns so far. Honestly, getting leapstone early is not even that bad, especially if you get the the warp associated with it too, because then you have a, a pretty early warp to Castle Keep, which is kind of nice. Because now I can go kill Richter as soon as I get Soul of Bat. If I was crazy, actually, hold on. I think I understand why um, if I did get Power of Mist, what I could do 
is if I dive kick to get, to get power of mist, I could then backtrack after grabbing mist, grab the warp, go back to castle keep, and then kill Richter immediately with like a save split all the way back in... I guess it doesn't matter when I save split. But you get what I'm saying. I think I'm also going to check these items real quick because I'm desperate for items. That's a cool idea. If I had done it, that'd be pretty cool. That was so useful, actually, unironically, because now I have an uncurse. So now I can get the fairy to heal my curse in the library as soon as I pick up the fairy. That's huge. Awesome, awesome. I'm actually, I'm, I'm kind of feeling good about this bingo thing, guys. I think we might have done it. We could obviously make uh, adjustments. Why am I checking that as if it's a relic that I need to check? We could obviously make adjustments as uh, time goes on, but... This is feeling pretty okay to me. That hit me? Wow. All right, all right. Uh, we, we grab this every time. I need to remember that this is, like, such an important shortcut. I gotta grab it every time. I am worried about my damage versus this guy's, but whatever. That's probably fine. <laughs> oh, yeah, I killed Crossmon, so I should be pretty high level, actually, now that I think about it. Now, now we warp back to Castle Keep. Or sorry, do we go to Castle Keep now? No. I could actually kill Richter by Wolf Rising there if I wanted to get it done ASAP. But I think killing Richter with no additional weapons is actually a really bad idea. Because he has a lot of health. And it would take a while. So I think for that reason alone, we grab Bat first. First and foremost, maybe hopefully the shop has something for us to use as a weapon. And then once we have Soul of Bat, we can start making executive decisions about where to go. So we have to get the second castle for like over half of these. Oh, I should also check the free item we get in here. a hammer. Okay. So that's another fairy item. You know what's very funny? I am going to unironically grab this just to double check some uh, enemy names to make sure I didn't fuck up when I created these. Because is there an enemy in Symphony of the Night called a ghost? Am I smoking reefer for thinking that? I feel like there should be, right? There is, right? Oh, star flail is actually pretty good. And clock tower. Little guys, yeah, it's the little guys in marble gallery on the way to the entrance. Exactly. Those are the ghosts, right? Uh, I'm trying to do shop glitch, Lamau. I'm interested in this. <laughs> I got some cash. Jewel of Open. Got to buy that while I'm here. Life Apple's actually kind of funny. And unironically, might be the purchase if I can't get anything better. I already have Star Flail, so I don't think I should get the Thunderbrand right now. 
Leather Shield for Shield Dashing might be worth. And that's all I can afford. Which is unfortunate. I think I might get Ruby Circlet, yeah. And then... Freaking Life Apple. Farewell for now. Those are the ghosts. Got it. Let's get the fairy in here. Okay. Now... I need to get cursed ASAP. I don't think there's any other reason to... Ch oh, I'm stupid. Uh, you know what? Let's just do this now and then we'll grab Soul of Bat. Because if this was like a lockout situation, I would do this. I think. Uh, fairy. Where's fairy? There you go. Just to make sure that my opponent didn't snipe it. Potentially. Because if I do make this a competitive format, it would be lockout bingo, so you could snipe stuff from your opponent and lock them out from being able to get it. What up, Eldritch? I'm going to need to test actual races with people in this format, though. At some point. Which I think will be fun. I think we need to refine some of the wording on some of these. Like, the Beezlebub one, I think, is really, really wordy. To just say no transformations, but... If I get Bingo 5 Tier 3... What's happening? Ooh, Arcana. Let's keep Fairy on, because why not? Might as well put the Arcana on. Okay. Is an Uncursed always guaranteed? Technically, no, but there are a lot of options. For the Fairy to eventually drop you something, so I don't think it's impossible... Like, I don't think you'll ever be put into a situation where it's impossible to get it to happen. But I'm not married to the idea of having the fairy use any items, to be honest, in an item randomizer. To be fair, the fairy item one is the only item uh, specific square in the entirety of the bingo. So if there's only one and it's the fairy one, I don't feel terrible about it. Because the fairy is very low commit to grab, and then you essentially are waiting on getting an item to get the square. So, I don't know. Mm, I mean, everything is kind of... Nice. She just used another one, funny enough. Um, everything is kind of up in the air anyways for the exact wording and number of squares and squares and all that, so. Uh, I think I'm gonna do the Cloaked Knights now. There's some money, and there was money over there too. I don't know if we're gonna be able to cash in any of this at some point. Yeah, Phantom Skull. So I am losing time backtracking here, but... Wait, you can't do that? It's kind of hoping that you could dive kick off of the cog to get enough height, but whatever. There is something funny about this wall. Yeah, I know, I know. It's a funny wall. It's the funniest wall in the goddamn game. Two hit. Uh, platinum mail. Good. 
two, three, four, and come on. five. Is that square done? Now, I can get Power of Mist real quick. Oh, I should have grabbed Fire of Bat while I was there. That was a throw. I'll have to get that later. I knew I was forgetting something. We have to get Fire of Bat because we also have the Bat stuff. Uh, let's get Ghost Card because we have to. Uh, so it has a bingo because I just made it myself. Smiley face. Who am I racing? The myself. It's a test. We just made this board. Um, we have about 45 different squares right now. Not all of them are guaranteed to be a thing. Um, and the wording on it might change, but as it is right now, I'm feeling pretty okay about it. We haven't, we do want to eventually test it in a race scenario, but that might not happen until I work on it some more. It says defeat creature using only spells, so Dark Metamorphosis would not count because it doesn't defeat creature on its own. So, no. I feel like that's pretty straightforward. It says using only spells. And Dark Metamorphosis can't kill creature, so. Uh, what are we doing now? Uh, I guess we're going to the caverns, yeah. Yeah, I think we're going to the caverns. I gotta defeat Scylla. I have to actually go Forbidden Route at some point. Maybe I should do that now to kill the Cthulhu's. Is there a reason to go to the Forbidden Route for any other reason? This might be useful. Oh, I actually should kill all rocks first and foremost to get uh, Echo of Bat. Shit. I should have done that. Yeah, so I think I'm going to do the ghosts. Oh, I'll get Iron Shield, actually. It's just like one of the best shields. I should grab it. I'm checking that like it's a freaking relic that I might want. That's very funny. Cthulhu. And for Cthulhu, I can do this. Yeah. Where is it? Where's Cthulhu? I can right click the star rate, right, which means I'm halfway done, maybe? That's a decent way to. For any time you have a two step. One, you can add a star by right-clicking. I should have grabbed gravity boots first on the way down here, I think. I mean, I can grab it now. What did I just grab?
I couldn't tell. This is Festival of Servants. It's the name of the song. Let's get out of here. Oh, here's the plan, actually. Since I have the Aurochs Warp, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sandbag getting Echo for later. After grabbing the Mines Warp, I think, it's probably the best way to do it. second castle so I do need to kill succubus while I'm here and then I have to defeat Scylla no races today I mean no races right now unless somebody wants to race me in bingo which I don't think they will want to oh baby a shield rod well, I'll take it. Heck yeah. Huge. Nice. Tribute. You steal Arfy. and make Arfy? Them your slaves. Thank you for the three months of tier one. I really appreciate that. Alright, now that we have honestly the bingo kind of online, I'm kind of really enjoying this. I'm probably gonna do another one after this, I'm not gonna lie. Especially to try out uh, a different board with different goals. We gotta do Scylla, which means we gotta take off everything. I could be wing smashing here, but I don't know how I feel about doing that. Might as well check the item, because it's useful. Nice. I think that's pretty much going to be the play, unless you have a ton of damage to just, like, punch Scylla to death. Uh, we need to get Holy Symbol as well. So... 
Do I have anything else in Castle Entrance for any reason? Holy symbol, defeat creature using only spells. Frozen half. Let's get devil familiar while we're here. Uh, that could be Alucard Sword. Yeah. I will likely switch to that at some point. Ooh, Mana Prism's nice. And, oh, baby. that's act I'm getting all that shit on the way back. Oh, Mana Prism and the, uh, that other shit. That other shit on God. The Mystic Pendant is huge. that if you were a crazy person you know what you could do is actually not do Scylla right away but start prepping um, Holy Symbol first kill Scylla then do Holy Symbol right afterwards to do like a back to back combo that'd be kind of crazy That'd be like some crazy tournament strats, IMO. Uh, Talisman I don't think is useful anymore. Wait, Sunstone? Is that not the Mystic Pendant that was the Sunstone? I thought it was the Mystic Pendant. I'm blind as hell. Very interesting to find a diamond here. Sword, poggers. I have to kill the gravekeeper as well. Gotta remember about that. Jolie symbol. I don't know what you mean by that, mind. There are no items specific. Squares on the board or in general. So I don't know what you're asking exactly. Oh, those items are all uh, vanilla. Sorry. If you're asking about progression items, those are vanilla. They're always the same. Okay, we gotta get demon card. Why is holy symbol a J? That's a good question. No one really knows the true answer. Let's be honest here. Demon card. And then all the imps are in the second castle. 
So let's go get Echo. I'm gonna grab Fire of Bat because it's on the cycle and I need it anyways. We need Echo anyways for full power Bat as well. I could also kill Richter on this cycle as well. Might as well kill Richter real quick. Mm, yeah. That's fine with me. Let's kill Richter. Save the game. using Alucard Sword. Oh, I missed. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Magnificent. But now feel my unbridled Can I soul steal? That kind of worked. There's Kill Richter. Let's run over if you die. No, you just reload a save. All right. What happens when you get bingo? Uh, if this was a race, I would win. Uh, we can't get Silver Ring yet, so I don't think there's a reason to go to the chapel yet. Unless I'm trying to snipe something specific. No! I missed my cycle. Fuck. I knew I missed something. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, it's fine. We just have to get Echo. We just have to get Echo. We just have to get Echo. Am I planning to race Bingo? At some point in the future, yes. Also, yeah, if I get a bingo, everybody has to give a tier three sub, so yeah, about that. I'm grabbing money as if I'm going to go back to the shop. I mean, unless I find a library card, I don't think there's a reason to go back to the shop, right? There's nothing in the library left to do. Yeah, I think this is my damage combo now. Heaven Sword, Alucard Sword. Nice. Heaven Sword useful, finally? Let's go.
Huge. There's Echo. Perfect amount of magic for this. Nice. I love how the Evan Sword has to like catch up. Really? That bonks. Azzy Blue, thank you for the raid. Hope your stream went well. We are testing out a new bingo idea that I just came up with today. And I need to go this way. The idea is that uh, all of the items, except for progression, items and relics are randomized. And we're doing bingo on top of that. Uh, bingo board of our creation that we just came up with. The current goal that I'm working towards is picking up Spike Breaker while having Echo of Bat, because I just picked up Echo of Bat. Uh, I should kill the Gravekeeper Fist only as well while I'm here. Because this is like the closest spot to get to a Gravekeeper. Let's see here. Yeah, I should just do that now. Let's look at these item checks. Which is kind of nice. All right, put them up. That was actually incredibly easy. Well, that was Gravekeeper. There he is. Library card would be really nice right about now. You can't cheat in bingo. I mean, you can, but you're a dick if you do it. And like, you wouldn't be allowed to f win if you were cheating. And we're caught cheating. Oops. So I don't know what you're asking. I'll put on Spike Breaker, just so I don't accidentally die in here, since my magic is low. Is it safe logic? The relics and item, or and key items are not randomized. So there is no relic randomization logic. The only things that are randomized are the items dropped from enemies, the items that are static on the map, and the items in the shop. That's the only thing that's randomized. And the music, I guess, technically, in cape colors, but as far as, like, gameplay stuff goes. Oh, I forgot to click this. Because I was distracted. I mean, now we do Silver Ring, I'm pretty sure. Then we do Confession Booth. And then... I think we go Second Castle, no? That's... Oh, I forgot that Clock Tower Puzzles was in the top right-hand corner this whole time. I've been fucking up. I need to do Clock Tower Puzzles. I'm going to go through Coliseum because it's right next to the confession booth.
Yeah, this is the glitchless rule set. Uh, this guy doesn't stab, right? No. I'm looking for the, the purple guy. Five Nights at Freddy's? Purple guy? Oh! There he is. Um, where are you? Why am I blind, dude? I'm so bad at this. There it is. Jesus Christ. Quickly scanning a box of letters is literally my kryptonite. It's a dys dyslexic's worst nightmare. This bingo is missing Mossman and a drop. You are correct. Very observant. I wonder why. I was wearing the spike breaker. So now I just do clock tower puzzles and then second castle is everything else. Nice ring of Arcana. He's running right at me. Dude, Hippogriff has way too much health. I'll say it. I think that was another Arcana. I do have to do Clock Tower real quick because I forgot. No, I didn't complete it. That's the last thing I have left in the first castle. Which means that a huge number of these require going to the second castle, and I wonder if I want to balance that to give first castle more options and make second castle... Mm. No, I think having a lot of second castle options will help. As well. I don't know, we'll see. I think there's pros and cons to both approaches. Yo, Karma Coin? Poggers? That was annoying. I vote Tails. Do you really vote tails? Here you go. You got one minute. Do it fast. Shit. I forgot to actually grab the holy glasses. I knew I was forgetting something. Oops. Let's grab those real quick. Damn it. 
Definitely not an optimal route, but you know, it is what it is. I do like uh, the fact that there isn't a bingo available without going into the second castle at least, so. That's neat. Why did 75% of you vote heads? That's not how, that's not how coin flips work. What? What is y'all doing? Seventy-five percent of you voted heads, just for it to be tails. You know, it'd be like that. Gambit doesn't work in your country? Well, using today's sponsor. That's a joke. That's a joke. I don't. Please. Maybe one day. Maybe that won't be a joke one day. All right, now it's second castle time. When could I have... Mm, yeah, I could have just gotten the glasses immediately after getting Silver Ring, which is what I should have done. Okay. What up, Swarm? How you doing? Oh, God damn it. I'm doing all right. Planning out bingo stuff. Didn't I already kill a frozen half? There are no frozen halves in the first castle. You're thinking of frozen shade, different enemy. What up, Confuse Ray? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, this is a lot of second castle squares. Maybe we're just, this is maybe just a second castle heavy board. I'm gonna have to count the number of first versus second castle squares uh, total that I've created to see what the ratio is. Cause I think it should be slightly first castle favored, yeah. Uh, so now, I mean, I need to get all the Vlad relics, so I'll just do left side and do, like, the normal, like, route, and then just do stuff along the way. That's probably the correct plan. It's a lot of damage. Damn. 
My defense is low as hell. Huh. I guess it's because I just don't have a cape on. Should I be checking these in case they're a library card for some reason? I don't think I need to. We have to do Guardians, we have to do Beezlebub. We already did the Cloaked Knights. We have to do Trio. We have to do Creature, which is what we're doing next. Oh, well, now we have Alucard Shield, Shield Rod, so. It's pretty nice. I forgot the puzzle. Damn it, I forgot the puzzle. That's fine. This will, I guess, be a showcase of the, the save split anyways. You're allowed to save, or you're allowed to restart your game after collecting a square. But if you restart your game whilst gaining progress, uh, you lose the progress towards that square as well. If that makes sense. So after you collect a square, like you're fine. This is great. Fun times. I love being stoned so bad. It's my favorite. place sucks. Tin Man, Scarecrow, Lion could be next. The hell was that, actually? Or Miguel? No. Scarecrow. Uh, 
Holy shit, man. There it is. You know what I actually should have done is I should have just used the fairy card life apple there. That would have saved me a lot of trouble. But it's fine. I now need to do spells only. Which means I should probably refill my MP. In fact, let me do double shield so I don't accidentally hit him with a shield or with an attack. Shield spell doesn't count because these are the only legal spells. If it doesn't show up in the spells menu, it's not real. It's made up. So Wing Smash would count because Wing Smash shows up in that menu. Am I forgetting anything before we move on? I don't think so, right? Kill five guardians. We have a... Uh, the shield rod for that. So I could do that whenever. And it'll increase my levels. We have to kill a Cthulhu. That's on right side. We have to get Echo, uh, Force of Echo, I mean. We have to do Bees, Fire Demon. Doppelganger 40 will be easy. So I guess we just go Dop 40. Frozen Half. Uh, there are there is the imp in this area as well that I could go do right now actually. Get demon card. I do have to change the wording instead of uh, devil familiar, make it demon familiar. So I think we do... Yeah, there's three squares really close by here, which is interesting. I don't think that's like a bad thing. We'll do Doppelganger 40. Then we'll get Force of Echo. Speaking of freaking bat shit, what the fuck? This guy's bat shit insane. Doppelganger 40. It's a meal ticket. Wow. No library cards. In both seeds so far, we haven't found a library card that we've done today. There's 
all the bat stuff. We still technically don't have a bingo yet. If I was obviously like aiming for bingos, this would be different, but. How many squares total do I have? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay. That's good. Because if you're doing a match versus somebody, it's first to 13 guarantees a win. Demon Bro, help me out! Hit him! Hit him! Oh, he missed! Oh, no. Should I have been leveling him up for this moment? Oh, no. Demon bro, get him! You dumb piece of shit! Oh, no. It's over. He's stupid. Dude, I'm so mad. I think I gotta level him up. Dude, it's gonna take forever to level him up. Oh no. He's still only level one. Surely getting him to level two will be enough. He's level one with 69 experience. That's surely enough. Demon bro, you gotta get in there. Do your job. Get him. Don't just give up. Don't give up after one swing. You can do it. You can do it. Please. Demon bro, I'm fighting for my life out here. Are you even interested at this point? How, what it, how does his AI work? He literally attacks once and then gives up? Is that actually how it works? Oh no. I'm trying to get the imp to stay still. The easiest way to do that would be to have it control me. Oh. It almost... Oh, it almost worked. Now the question is, will the demon kill it in a single hit? Probably not. Demon. What? What? We're doing this in the chapel. Oh my god. Today I learned that Demon is a freaking moron. Jesus Christ. Getting him to do anything is miserable. What the fuck, man? Ugh. We'll have to just do it in the chapel. Did one have to hurt Demon Friend? Well, too bad. So what is this bingo card? What do you mean, what is this bingo card? Like, you can't read it? Like, what is it for? 
What are the rules? I just got here. That doesn't answer my questions. It is a bingo of objectives that you have to complete that are randomly chosen amongst a selection of them and do all this while the items are randomized. Uh, I felt like this was going well until the demon card decided that it doesn't know how to attack things. Which has been interesting to learn. It's probably not worth saving and then resetting for this. These are Salem's. Okay, I was just double checking. There's the frozen half. Now, we go left side. So we should finish this in like, I don't know, maybe like 20 minutes. Maybe even less. Yeah, it should be less than 20 minutes actually. Assuming the demon cooperates, we should be fine. It seems like kill five guardians might be the last thing to do, according to just like where things end up being really in relative uh, position to each other. Uh, yeah, we'll be fine. You know what I honestly should do at this point? I should be shield rotting it. It's time. So we have one more Vlad Relic. He's not one-shotting them. Come on. Oh, he killed one. All right, he killed one. Got to get out of here while it's lagging like crazy. Still no bingos, by the way. This is like the perfect formation for there to be zero bingos. Oh, let's kill this Cthulhu. And there's bingo. Yay. We did it.
Do you think I can get a doctorate in Yaponomics? I want to commit mal malpractice, but I need to be a doctor first. Well, I do know a guy. And he is a doctor by trade. There's the flat relics. I think we go straight to Trio. We can do Asgals. As well. One Asgall. Trio right afterwards. Then we get Beezlebub. Then we get Fire Demon, and then we get Guardians. Bad, not bad. Oh, shit. I fucked up. That's fine. So the way I have it worded right now is that I actually do this. Soul of that, and then where's Soul Volt? Then we do that. I could just say no without transforming. That's probably better. I don't think there's a reason to force you to turn off all the transformations. Fire Demon. Lastly is the Guardians. I could have also killed the Cthulhu here, but whatever. Yeah, this will easily be under an hour and a half, which is pretty good for clearing literally everything. I think that's a decent time. 
I can see a, a bingo match going way shorter. My goal is for it to be about an hour. And unless you get absolutely blown out with like a, f a bingo, then you probably will be fine. To go for a majority. Three. Four and five. That's time. All right. Not bad. I think that was a good first attempt at this type of bingo. I do need to get people together for races at some point if I want to test it more thoroughly. But in before that happens, I guess I'll just do more um, just like solo runs. But that was fun. If you watch this on Dragon Boots Daily all the way to the end, thank you. I appreciate you for watching. Take it easy. Uh, subscribe if you haven't done so. Leave a comment for the algorithm. All that fun stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.